Perl Tutorial Part 100 Store Data Structures on Disk We can create simple or complex data structures and store them on disk using the Storable module. and functions store and retrieve. So let's create a very simple array. And we use the store function. name of our array and the file name and we can retrieve our array so let's create a new array just called A equals it's an array so Retrieve and the file. We could then print out our new array. Or one item. Okay, so when we run this, this will write a file in the Perl work directory and then retrieve the array from that file and print it out. So we print out the array and print out item 4, which is 5 and in our Perl work directory we've got a file called array.dat you could also write it to a text file and it will still work and we could have a look at our text file it looks a bit like that. But it is probably best to write it to a DAT file. OK, so now let's store a more complex data structure. Let's create a hash Let's create a hash of hashes. So let's say color
Okay, so here's our hash of hashes. So let's store this data structure on disk. retrieve it into a new hash called h and we're using a hash this time and let's print out the size of the dog. So here's our hash dat file. Now these dat files and these text files are a little bit weird to read. So what if we've stored a hash of hashes and an array of arrays and they're much bigger than this and we've forgotten what the data is. What we could do is use a module called the data dumper and that will print out your data structure and we can say print data dumper dump our hash referenced with a type glob. So let's run this. There's the data dumper printing out the data structure of our hash of hashes. So that's how to use the storable module to store data structures on disk.